last day of this uh, second phase of training program and in this whole training program that was designed for the academic task force members and district task force members and uh, uh, today uh, we are going to have three different sessions so in the first session we will be uh, uh, we'll try to understand uh, what is our role uh, to uh, un uh, to ensure that inclusion and children with uh, special needs uh, their their needs are addressed in the school and wherever the children are so we will be uh, we'll try to understand that uh, how to create awareness how to uh, engage parents and community for the implementation of nipun bharat mission and also ensure that children's learning and development is happening in a way it has it is uh, uh, expected to happen and then finally we will understand uh, the nipun bharat mission planning and implementation template through which quarterly we take the data from the states to understand the health of the nipun bharat mission implementation in each and every uh, state so with this uh, today uh, the first is about inclusion and children with special needs and again now we have with us our expert uh, madam a srija uh, she is economic advisor yesterday she has taken a session so already uh, introduced with all of you so ma'am over to you ma'am unmute yourself A very good morning to all of you. So yesterday we had uh, discussed about uh, aspirational district program and the Vidyanjali program. Today I'm back with you for discuss uh, inclusive education and uh, how it will, uh, how it's in influence, uh, it's role in Nippon implementation of the Nippon Bharat mission. I hope I am audible to all. Is uh, it audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So first of all, we look at the uh, what our NEP says. Now, for all our policies and programs, uh, we all know that NEP is the uh, Bible. So NEP has very clearly identified. If you see para 2.1, it says the ability to read and write and perform basic operations with numbers is a necessary foundation and an indispensable prerequisite for all future schooling and lifelong learning. So, as you all know, yesterday also I had mentioned that foundational literacy and numeracy, this is the base. Unless we are uh, uh, strong at this level, unless the child is strong at this level, future schooling and lifelong learning will be a very difficult task for the child. So, and especially when inclusive, I um, mean, other parameters, like if the child has other uh, disadvantage with the uh, it's coming from a disadvantaged background or it has some disabilities, it makes it all the more difficult for a uh, child in the early schooling to cope up. So this uh, FLN has a very at the has a very primary role in future schooling and lifelong learning. The NEP itself says that by 2025 we have to universalize uh, FLN uh, standards at the primary school level. So I hope this audience is aware of that. Next, uh, NEP also reaffirms that bridging the social category gaps in access, participation and learning outcomes in school education will continue to be one of the major goals of all education sector development programs. So that is the focus of our presentation today.
Now, the NEP has uh, broadly identified the socio-economic disadvantaged groups as gender identities, socio-cultural identities, geographical identities, disabilities, and socio-economic conditions. Now, gender identities, if you see, though uh, females account for almost 50% of the total population, their representation in secondary uh, levels education, as well as higher education, in, and even in the workforce is very minimal as compared to other developing countries. Similarly, uh, if you further uh, uh, this one um, explore the data, it would also clearly show that people from the disadvantaged groups like uh, caste-based or minority groups are the ones who are out of these uh, secondary and higher education. Similarly, yesterday we touched upon geographical identities that is aspirational districts then remote villages where the, 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 the access to education is uh, denied or not accessible due to various factors. Then comes disabilities, which includes both physical and learning disabilities. So the NEP says that the critical problems and recommendations regarding early childhood care and education, foundational literacy and numeracy, access, enrollment and attendance are discussed in chapters one to three of NEP are relevant and important for underrepresented and disadvantaged groups. Therefore, the measures from chapters 1 to 3 will be targeted in a concerted way for SEDGs. So, this is the, the NEP has itself for, uh, laid the uh, ground for focus on the SEDGs for attaining the standards prescribed for FLN, ECC, access, enrollment, and attendance. Even for the aspirational districts that we talked about, the learning outcomes there is dependent upon we uh, addressing these issues. Now, bef uh, before going uh, like this, uh, among the uh, SEDGs which have been identified here, I shall be concentrating today only on physical and I mean, disabilities and learning disabilities included therein. So, if you all, you must be aware that earlier there was an act, Persons with Disabilities Act in uh, 1995. This act was amended and we have uh, made it a right of persons with disabilities act 2016 that is today it is a when a disabled person has the right to uh, access to education employment and other related parameters which are mentioned in this act here i shall uh, touch upon the educational uh, uh, rights which a disabled child has access to as per the act that is, uh, it says that duties of educational institutions, chapter three of the act says duties of educational institutions for children identified with disabilities. So, it, as you all know, admit without discrimination and provide education and opportunities for sports and recreation activities, make building campus and various facilities accessible, provide reasonable accommodation according to individual's requirement, provide necessary support individualized or otherwise in environments that maximize academic and social development, ensure that education to persons who are blind or deaf or both is imparted in the most appropriate language, mode and means of communication. And the most important, detect specific learning disabilities in children at the earliest, where again the role of FLN is uh, important, and take suitable pedagogical and other measures to overcome them. So again, I'm restressing that unless the learning disability is identified at a very early age, uh, its uh, correction at a later age becomes difficult. But early identification, intervention, correction helps the child in further going up in the education uh, levels. Then the last one is monitor participation progress in terms of attainment levels and completion of education in respect of every student with disability. Provide transportation facilities to the children with disabilities and also the attendant of the children with disabilities having high support needs. These are the duties of educational institutions for a child with disability. Now, the act further says that 
uh, what are the measures that need to be uh, given to a disabled child to promote and facilitate inclusive education? One is the, a survey of school going children needs to be conducted every five years to identify children with disabilities, then establish adequate number of teacher training institutions to train and employ teachers, including teachers with disability who are qualified in sign language and braille and also teachers who are trained in teaching children with intellectual disability. Then to train professionals and staff to support inclusive education at all levels of school education, to establish adequate number of resource centers to support educational institutions at all levels of school education. Here again, before we uh, in, the, in the Nippon Bharat mission, when the teachers are trained for the early childhood care and education, uh, training them on the inclusive aspects in identifying children with disabilities should be given a uh, special focus because at the entry level, uh, when uh, uh, all children may show some hesitation in understanding, reading, writing, but uh, now uh, the focus of this early childhood care education being three to eight years by the age of uh, five. At least the teacher should be able to identify that this particular child has a learning disability so that at the very early age, the intervention and correction can be initiated. So uh, this, uh, what is that? when you go for the FLN training, make sure that all the teachers are trained to identify a learning disability at a very early age. Then the act further says uh, uh, these uh, measures also that is to promote the use of appropriate augmentative and alternative mm, altern, oh, sorry alternative modes including means and formats of communication it's uh, specific to braille and sign language then to provide books and learning materials appropriate assistive devices to students with benchmark disabilities free of cost up to the age of 18 years now in our RTE Act, it is only up to 14 years, but here this Act emphasizes on providing this up to the age of 18 years to provide scholarships in appropriate cases to students with benchmark disability. Then to make suitable modifications in the curriculum and examination system to meet the needs of students with disabilities, such as extra time for completion of examination paper, facility of scribe or exemption from the second and third language courses. Now here the SCRTs can play an important role in while designing the curriculum for children with uh, inclusive, uh, sorry, children with learning disabilities. That is they can suggest some modifications in the curriculum and examination system so that these children are also able to give the exam in a on par with the uh, 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 children who are not uh, disabled. That is, mere extra time will not uh, help all uh, children with uh, disabilities, especially those with learning disabilities. So, it's some kind of different mode of oral examination, open book examination, all this can be explored at the uh, SCRT, uh, but can be explored by the SCRT. Now, the act defines benchmark disability. Now, all uh, sorts of like the need for training when we say for the teachers is because of this, like uh, physical disability in some cases is visible or so is learning disability, but certain disabilities are not really uh, distinct. It takes time to understand oh, that disability is there in that child. So, the act says that a person or a student with at least more than 40% of disability and if it is certified by a certifying authority, then it is the child is uh, get, uh, classified as learning disabled and that disability is called benchmark disability. So, this act has uh, identified 21 types of such disabilities and uh, further the section 31 of this act says that free education of children should be provided to children with uh, benchmark disabilities. It further says that the appropriate government or local authorities to ensure that every child with benchmark disability has access to free education between the age of 6 to 18 years in a neighborhood or special school of their choice.
Now we come to the, uh, we have touched upon the act. We looked at the NEP policy. Now we come to the Nipun Bharat mission. Here we have some suggest suggestive strategies for implementing the Nipun Bharat mission for inclusive and equitable uh, learning. So we first our suggestion is uh, while you are preparing the teaching learning materials, keep the content same for all uh, children, but uh, have it uh, that is the design and the delivery mechanism can address the different socio-economic socio-economic disadvantage groups like from uh, those from the tribal villages might require it in a regional language. A child would uh, with disability might uh, like to have have it in an audio-visual format. So while the content remains the same, the delivery and the design of the teaching learning material may be looked into. Then uh, provide individualized learning support for children with multiple disabilities. Then availability of teaching learning materials in accessible format for CWSN. Then capacity building programs and handbooks for teachers that are SEDGS responsive. Now, very often the uh, teachers are not uh, uh, this one able to uh, or responsive enough to the needs of the children with uh, learning disability. Like the minute the child is labeled as uh, learning a special ch uh, special child, then it's hired isolated or sent to the special educator instead uh, innovative pedag pedagogical uh, methods can be uh, give uh, trainings can be given to the teachers where a teacher is able to um, address a classroom with multiple uh, like you have a plural uh, setting you might have a bright child you have might have a child with learning disability you might have a child from a tribal background with a child who, so all may not be able to uh, grasp that uh, learning material in one format so the teacher should be trained in such a way that she can address she or he can address uh, the same group the multi the uh, plural group in a uh, in different uh, interventions instead of identifying a child and uh, sending to the special educator that the through peer group learning through special intervention one to one intervention the same teacher should be able to deliver the content even to a child with the learning disability now as social economic disadvantage groups checking teacher resource materials this is what i was trying to say that is evaluate all pedagogies and uh, TLMs to avoid biases and stereotypes and encourage plurality in the classroom. Then adapted modified assessment techniques for CWSN for equitable assessment practices. Then orientation programs for general teachers and special educators for pre-assessment holistic screening tool that is Precious mobile application. This Precious is a mobile application that was uh, developed by NCRT and it was launched in uh, September uh, 2022. The main aim of this uh, precious app is for early identification of children with uh, learning disability. In subsequent slides, we shall talk more about it. And uh, so, uh, and before the after the launch of the app, there are three steps that the uh, states need to take. First is the special screening drive across all states and UTs using precious app that is registration and verification of all general teachers and special educators by school heads and student details uploaded by all teachers this precious app once you uh, download in your smartphone it's uh, available only in the android phone once you download it you have to get the teacher has to register and it has to be verified by the school heads only after that the actual screening process will start so the SCRTs uh, are requested that uh, to make sure that um, who are implementing the FLN uh, scheme to get all the teachers uh, registered with the precious app and it is also got verified by the school heads so that the very the screening process can start. Now the CDGs uh, checking to the, sorry. Now this is about the precious app a little uh, we are just briefly uh, explaining to you on how it uh, would uh, look like um, it's not freely accessible to the public uh, in the sense that you have to have a utilized code no? 
Yes, you guys code to uh, get yourself registered on the uh, app. So only a teacher can uh, get her get himself or herself registered on the app. So based on what uh, so the brochure, I'm just trying to uh, explain what the app is about. So this app was uh, launched on 6 September 2022. Then it is a disability screening tool and not a diagnostic tool. Once it only helps in identifying a child and be, but before diagnosing the child as a disabled child, it has to be done by a doctor. So it's just a screening tool. So this needs to be explained to the parents also because many often parents become apprehensive when and labeling their child as a disabled child. So it is just to uh, a screening tool to identify a child with learning disability so that you can start an early intervention in a proper mode of uh, teaching for that children identified with disabilities. Now part it has two parts that is part one and uh, part two. Now part one is designed for general school teachers for first level screening. Then part one is to be administered for all students in the class. Then it contains objective type items that need to be tick marked and handed over to the school head. Then part two to be used to validate the screening undertaken by the general teachers. And part two is done by the special educators for second level screening and referral for further diagnosis. So the app is uh, downloadable at the Google app. I mean, sorry, Google Play Store. Now this is uh, once you have downloaded, this is how it would appear part one for the teacher, the class teacher, if you can say, then it, you know, on my survey, the class teacher gets to gets the list of the students. They have to add if further students are to be taken up. And um, once they identify a child, like suppose we take uh, Ashna as the child, then they have to view the survey. And the survey, these are some of the questions that are like uh, shown over there. They have to just tick mark the uh, which, uh, what observations they find in a particular child. They can even consult the parents on certain uh, parameters before ticking. And then uh, after that uh, survey is done by the class teacher, then it goes for the um, they have to save it as a save and submit it. The ones which are marked a tick that is uh, that we can see just the student has stiffness, floppiness in limbs and or jerky movement in limbs, jerky walking pattern, involuntary uncontrolled movements. The student student has problems in self helping skills, washing, eating, holding, placing objects, cutting. Student is significantly shorter for his or age. These are the observations of the class teacher. And then she submits the uh, uh, part one to the, she submits the part one. Then the next stage is for the special educator. Now special educator, when they see the survey list, there may not be one special educator for every school. So a group of schools under their control would be visible in the survey list. After that, they can, where it is written, uh, verif need verification, they can select that uh, school. And uh, they go for the need verification very well. School head verified. They okay. Go for the okay. Which is uh, okay. After the school head has verified the survey list, only then it goes to the special educator. So the here the one which is in green that is verified. That is the school uh, which, ha which has been verified by the school head. So the special educator can uh, go, uh, look go to that school. So once she goes there, the survey list will show all the uh, classes. Uh, the students of the respective classes and then further if we continue the same example if the class 2 student is selected she can now look at the survey done by the class teacher and this is on the left side you can see the survey done by the class teacher and on the right side now we can see what the special educator has identified further she has uh, she has identified uh, uh, that uh, this, uh, the um, question, uh, observations marked by the class teacher under these categories that is cerebral palsy, dwarfism, muscular dystrophy, multiple disabilities. Now, further, where uh, there under each of these disabilities, they also have further questions where the special educator marks a star. That is, does this student have tremors or involuntary movement which are hindering him or her from doing any activity? Does this student have a disproportionately large head? 
After that, she submits the uh, you know, survey list, which goes to the headmaster. Now, at the headmaster level, how he gets to see the form, he can again see in his survey list all his classes. Uh, I mean, uh, the classes in his school get, he is able to see. And if we continue with the same example, the, uh, the right side shows the very uh, the results of the teacher as well as the, um, class, the special educator. So disability suspected after part two is dwarfism by both teacher and the special educator. Now the uh, further disabilities observed in part one. The details are given and the survey details, which are the uh, observations which has been uh, marked by the uh, teachers. Then uh, this will be the final Excel sheet that the headmaster gets to see. That is of all children here, only one child we are showing of all the children of his school. He will get to see in this app from here. It can be downloaded for further necessary action wherever the child has to be really diagnosed by a certifying authority as uh, learning disabled. Then uh, those process starts from here. So, uh, so that is why after so early childhood care and education. Uh, this uh, so precious app needs to be implemented uh, by all the teachers in all, all government and government aided schools to early uh, for early identification of a child with learning disability. Because by class three, if the child at least by class one, if you identify by class three by making the necessary interventions. Uh, there will be an improvement in the learning abilities of the child by, by on reaching class three. So our other indicators will accordingly uh, improve, namely our NAS indicators, our aspirational district indicators. So uh, early identification of learning disability is a must, which has to be part of the FLN program. And uh, if you uh, post pandemic, most of the children are facing problems. So this, uh, at least for the new lot, like a child which is now age three would have been uh, age three to or age four or age five would have been due come across through the pandemic time. So uh, this uh, precious app needs to be widely implemented in the schools for early identification of uh, children with learning disabilities so that corrective action can be taken. One another thing. I would like to highlight this very often school says that we do not have the funds. So yesterday for those of you who had uh, um, listened to my lecture uh, on uh, Vidyanjali, I again uh, emphasize that through Vidyanjali, we should uh, popularize the program in your district so that we get more volunteers for many of these uh, activities. Like you can have people who are ready to uh, give us learning materials who are ready to train uh, the uh, special educators or who can render the service of special educator. So the more widely we disseminate information about the Vidyanjali program for many of these activities, we might get volunteers. So with these words, I wind up my lecture. I'm open to questions if any. Ritu, no questions? Uh, thank you, ma'am. Now I request... Now I request the participants if they have any questions. Hope I was audible. Uh, yes, ma'am. Hope I was audible throughout. I didn't... Yes, you were very much audible. Okay. So participants, do you have any uh, any more questions? We shall share the PPT if uh, required. I think there is no question, ma'am. Uh, so uh, <laughs> so okay, thank then. you. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, ma'am, for this again, this wonderful session. And uh, a little uh, early, you could so we will we are going to have more time because we have uh, thought that we will be taking session for one hour only. We have one and a half hour now. So uh, thank you so much, ma'am.
thank you thank you ma'am thank you okay then thank you yes ma'am Uh, participants, uh, 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 we will start the second session in five minutes. Um, NIC, uh, can you give me sharing rights?
uh, ashwini ji uh, nic can you uh, give me the sharing rights done done i have made anyone can share as anyone okay let me try Uh, so a, a very good morning to all of you and uh, we are heading towards finishing our second phase and uh, uh, in this series aaj ka jo second session hai this is related to how to plan and devise strategies for spreading awareness so uh, today um, we two uh, are acting as a resource person or the person who will be talking about how to plan the strategies i myself dr ritu chandra deputy secretary for school education uh, and literacy ministry of education and uh, with me um, i have uh, my consultant vinita arora she is a consultant for nipun bharat mission uh, we all will be uh, discussing how to go about spreading the awareness but we do understand that states have already uh, doing uh, many activities to spread awareness for the better implementation of uh, the nipun bharat uh, mission and uh, making everybody understand all the stakeholders so when i say all the stakeholders uska matlab ye hai ki stakeholders right from the national level to the grassroots level that includes policy makers educational planners teachers parents and the whole community that means everybody who who is those who are directly and indirectly linked to the children must understand what is the importance of nipun bharat mission what are the lakshyas what are the key competencies and what are their their role to ensure that uh, every child becomes the nipun child so that's how this awareness is very important uh, we would uh, we have also planned that if time permits we would request some of the states to uh, share their um, initiatives in awareness so there are examples because uh, in the past on uh, in july um, on 11th and 12th we had organized one national conference on nipun bharat mission and you were a part of it where you have shared good practices so we have gone through those good practices and we have identified few states to uh, share their uh, awareness initiatives for 2 minutes each uh, right after this session so we will be inviting so be uh, be ready for that we, vinita will be an, uh, announcing who are those states so let us start why this awareness is important we need the next slide please uh, visible nahi ho raha kat rahi hai thoda sa aur thoda sa aur just uh, a little ha uh, bas fine 
सो अवेयरनेस जनरेशन की जरूरत क्यों पड़ी तो वन थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू क्लैरिफाई हेयर जो हम लोग बहुत बार बार उसको क्लियर करते रहते हैं दैट निपुण भारत और द फाउंडेशनल स्टेज इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एजुकेशन सो अर्ली चाइल्ड हुड केयर एजुकेशन स्टार्ट इवन बिफोर बर्थ कहीं कहीं पर वो आफ्टर बर्थ लेते हैं कहीं कहीं पर बिफोर बर्थ बट एज ए चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट पर्सन आई ऑलवेज कंसिडर दैट लर्निंग एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द चिल्ड्रेन स्टार्ट राइट फ्रॉम द कंसेप्शन जब मदर कंजीव कंसीव करती है बच्चे का डेवलपमेंट और उसकी लर्निंग तभी से शुरू हो जाती है तो इसलिए बहुत जरूरी है कि जो हम कहते हैं प्रेग्नेंट वेमेन का बहुत ध्यान रखना चाहिए एक फीमेल हेल्दी होना चाहिए सो बच्चे का डेवलपमेंट वहाँ से होना चाहिए वहाँ से लेते हुए कंसेप्शन से लेते हुए जो एट इयर्स तक की स्टेज है दैट इज नोन एज फाउंडेशनल अर्ली चाइल्ड केयर एंड एजुकेशन उस अर्ली चाइल्ड केयर एंड एजुकेशन को अगेन फोर डिफरेंट पार्ट्स में डिवाइड किया गया फर्स्ट इज कंसेप्शन टू बर्थ जिसमें कि प्री नेटल क्रेयर होती है जिसको हम प्री नेटल कहते हैं स्टेज वो के जब बच्चा जन्म ले लेता है तो बर्थ से लेके थ्री इयर्स की जो एज होती है वो बच्चे की वो ऐसी स्टेज होती है जिसमें बच्चा घर पर रहता है और कई बार क्रैश में भी होता है ये दोनों जगह पे बच्चे की केयर एंड स्टिमुलेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर सर्वाइवल मेनली और कुछ लर्निंग की अपॉर्चुनिटीज उसके बाद जब बच्चा प्री स्कूल में जाता है दो सो वेन द चाइल्ड इज थ्री इयर्स ओल्ड चाइल्ड इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी इन प्री स्कूल दिस इज अनरिक जनरल अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो ये थर्ड सब स्टेज होती है अर्ली चाइल्ड हुड केयर एजुकेशन की तो जब वो तीन साल का बच्चा प्री स्कूल में आता है तो केयर तो है इम्पॉर्टेंट बट केयर के साथ साथ इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू एंश्योर दैट ऑल चिल्ड्रन गेट एम्पल अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर लर्निंग उस और एडजस्टमेंट इन लर्न टू एडजस्ट इन फर्दर प्राइमरी एजुकेशन के लिए उनको तैयार करना स्कूल रेडीनेस वो हो जाए जो फोर्थ और लास्ट स्टेज है अर्ली चाइल्ड हुड केयर एंड एजुकेशन की दैट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सिक्स प्लस सो वेन द चाइल्ड इज इन ग्रेड वन सो उसको हम कहते हैं कि बच्चे की फोर्थ स्टेज शुरू हो गई है तो ऑल अर्ली चाइल्ड हुड केयर एंड एजुकेशन हैज फोर सब स्टेजेस जहां पर बर्थ से स्टार्ट है अर्ली चाइल्ड हुड एजुकेशन केयर एंड एजुकेशन वहां पर थ्री सब स्टेजेस कह सकते हैं आप सो दिस इज वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अर्स टू अंडरस्टैंड अब इसमें जो फाउंडेशनल स्टेज है सो द फाउंडेशनल स्टेज इज सजेस्टेड इन एन ई पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इज शुड बी ऑफ फाइव ईयर्स पांच साल की वो फाउंडेशन स्टेज है जिसमें वेन द चाइल्ड एंटर्स इन प्री स्कूल एट एज थ्री तो तीन साल का बच्चा प्री स्कूल वन चार साल का बच्चा प्री स्कूल टू पांच साल का बच्चा प्री स्कूल थ्री दैट मीन्स वी शुड हैव थ्री इयर्स ऑफ प्री प्री स्कूल एजुकेशन उसके बाद ग्रेड वन एंड टू यानी कि जब बच्चा सिक्स प्लस का होगा और सेवन प्लस का या एट का बच्चा होगा आठ साल तक की जो अवस्था है जिसमें बच्चा ग्रेड टू में एक्सपेक्ट होगा कि कि पांच साल टोटल तीन साल का प्री स्कूल और दो साल का अर्ली प्राइमरी ग्रेड्स वन एंड टू को मिलाकर एक फाउंडेशनल स्टेज बनाई गई है एंड वी ऑल अंडरस्टैंड क्योंकि अभी हमने फेज वन में ये सारी चीजें डिस्कस कर ली थी तो ये जो स्टेट स्टेज है पर्टिकुलरली वो ही निपुण भारत का क्लाइंटेल है जिसमें हमने सिर्फ एक स्टेज ग्रेड वन को और जोड़ लिया है तो छह साल की ये अवस्था हमारी फाउंडेशनल uh, स्टेज निपुण भारत के अंदर फॉल करती है अब Awareness generation is very very important to be done for the whole early childhood care and education. But under Nipun Bhar, it is very important for all of us because we are the one who are going to implement Nipun Bharat Mission. Uh, that is a time bound program to ensure that all children are at par and there is no learning crisis. There is no learning gap. Uh, much gap among children 100% achievement is not possible but at least all children are at the same almost at the same level this is what should be the approach this is what should be the uh, target to be achieved within this short period of span so this particular session is uh, about how to ensure that everybody all the stakeholders understand what is nipun bharat mission what are their roles and responsibilities how they can encourage uh, the community 
how they can encourage everybody to engage to mobilize and then engage in the learning of children जो कि उनके आसपास कोई भी बच्चा हो उसको कैसे वो क्या एक्टिविटीज कराए या किस तरीके से बच्चे को सपोर्ट करे या उनके पेरेंट्स को किस तरीके से एनकरेज करे सो द लर्निंग जॉयफुल लर्निंग एनवायरमेंट इज देयर इन द स्कूल एट होम एंड इन द कम्युनिटी तो ये एक ऑब्जेक्टिव हम रखकर हमने सोचा कि ये सेशन हमें आज करना चाहिए आपके साथ एंड यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड दैट सो जो एक आपको बताना चाहते हैं कि एक अर्ली चाइल्डहुड नेशनल अर्ली चाइल्डहुड केयर एंड एजुकेशन पॉलिसी वाज डेवलप्ड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट इन 2013 अब तक हमारे पास 1986 की नेशनल पॉलिसी ऑन एजुकेशन थी हम लोग उसी को फॉलो करते थे जिसमें एक पार्ट था अर्ली चाइल्डहुड केयर एंड एजुकेशन फर्स्ट टाइम इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया वेमेन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ वेमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट ने पॉलिसी बनाई थी अर्ली चाइल्ड केयर एंड एजुकेशन की जो कि आज भी एप्लीकेबल है वो पहली पॉलिसी सी थी दैट वाज डेडिकेटेड फॉर अर्ली चाइल्ड केयर एंड एजुकेशन जिसमें ये कहा गया था देर वर इलेवन एरियाज जिसको एड्रेस करने की जरूरत थी अर्ली चाइल्ड केयर एंड एजुकेशन के यूनिवर्सलाइजेशन के लिए उसमें एक इम्पॉर्टेंट एरिया है एडवोकेसी एंड अवेयरनेस जनरेशन क्योंकि वो नहीं हुआ तो नो बडी विल अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ अर्ली चाइल्ड केयर एंड एजुकेशन एंड देर रोल एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी तो यहाँ से एक स्ट्रॉन्ग uh, स्टेप शुरू हुआ एंड देन तो जो अभी नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी 2020 आई उसमें अगेन दिस पार्ट हैज बीन री इनफोर्स्ड स्ट्रॉन्गली सो हमारे पास एक तो अर्ली चाइल्ड केयर एंड एजुकेशन की नेशनल पॉलिसी का स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस है दैट यस ऑफकोर्स अवेयरनेस जनरेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट second is national education policy 2020 also strongly focuses on um, recommends that awareness generation is important and then third important uh, part is third important document is nipun bharat mission guidelines so uh, again it is strongly written in that guidelines that without creating awareness among different stakeholders this implementation will not happen in a way it is designed so that's how we thought we should go ahead with that this is the base for uh, uh, coming up with awareness generation uh, orientation second next slide ab awareness generation karne ke liye kyu zaruri why awareness generation is important awareness generation karne ke liye uh, uh, is isliye important hai because we need to mobilize the community so why mobilization is important mobilization is important to ensure that everybody is part of the uh, awareness creation everybody understands the role and then how to perform that role that is the mobilization so community is eager community is motivated to contribute so second step agar hum kahenge awareness uh, generation ka wo hoga mobilization jab once the community is mobilized then what will happen the community will participate so community kon hai basically community means different stakeholders every level uh, we have different stakeholders so this is how it should proceed so awareness is just an information mobilization is understanding our role and motivation and then finally uh, delivering so this is how it is designed next slide ab karna kaise hai awareness so awareness generation karne ke liye we can do it in a three ways first is folk media wherever or it is always best to use the folk media or a local media for creating awareness second is print media chhapa hua kuch booklets baant deni pamphlets baant dena third is electronic media electronic media ka matlab hai ki aapne um, koi radio pe ya tv pe koi program awareness ka ya koi lecture session meeting ki so that's how there are different medias through which you can uh, create awareness it all depends on your resources agar aapke paas media ki access hai agar aap koi video ya kuch bana kar de sakte hain agar aap institutional setup mein hain then you can of course use the electronic media if you have an availability of uh, making multiple copies of uh, pamphlets developing it and distributing it you have that mechanism you can go ahead with that then folk media of course Uh, that is the most effective media so we will be talking about these three different kinds of 
medias in detail in later presentation. Next, please. Then, it's not that the awareness generation is in Nippon or in the ECC policy or in NEP 2020. All these things are in the system. The only thing is we have to customize everything. We have to align our awareness initiatives with the Olympics on Bharat mission guidelines so that our implementation is good. So, in 2014, uh, NCRT ने एक initiative शुरू किया था creating awareness in early childhood care and education जिसमें awareness programs organize किए गए थे community में उसके बाद uh, capacity building uh, programs organize किए गए और एक resource package भी बनाया गया जिसको भी हम अभी आगे आपको दिखाएंगे so that those who would like to develop the resource package this of, especially the state officials they can see those resource package and uh, that resource package and replicate the same, quantize the same in the context of their own state and union territory. Next, please. Ab kaise kar, kar sakte hai awareness generation? So there are different modalities. Uh, usme se aap koi bhi pick kar sakte hai. Jaise awareness rally kar sakte hai, door to door aap message sharing kar sakte hai, puppet shows kar sakte hai, role play, film show, discussion, folk dance, discussion with the community and you can always have a, uh, a feedback take a feedback from uh, about your program that's very important so that finally you can modify agar aap ek bar awareness program kar liya ho sakta hai wo utna need based na ho so uske liye feedback lekar aap next program karenge then you can uh, uh, organize the program in a more meaningful way that is more relevant for the community for different stakeholders next uh, this is a, just a glimpse of the materials in the resource package which has been made in detail. We will understand in detail in detail. You are giving us just information that these are the things uh, are already available with us which needs to be contextualized, needs to be used as such and needs to be translated. Whatever way you would like to use it, it is available. Next. Uh, we, the Ministry of Education has developed two documents to support Nippon Bharat mission implementation. First is the guidelines for parent participation in home-based learning during school and beyond. This was developed in 2021. This is a very important document. This is, up, this is uploaded on uh, Diksha FLN portal. You can download it. We have translated this uh, document, but very soon we will be providing the Hindi version of this document. But right now you can download it. Otherwise, we will be sharing the link here in this chat box. You can copy and paste. We have already shared with the states already. So, this a set of activities hai ki, uh, kaise ghar mein, because parent ka role is very important. So, parent ko ek awareness honi chahi. What are the interesting activities which can be done in the uh, at home? How to create learning environment in at home which is joyful for children? So, uski sare diye gaye hai. So that's how we, we, we want to make sure that parents parents do understand their role and how they can uh, make sure that children are developing, children are learning at home also. Then a community engagement in uh, foundational learning, we have a document and we have uh, already shared in the month of May with all the states and union territories. We will share it again and we will give it a link. It is very much available on Diksha FLN portal. You can download it. It is also again uh, translated in Hindi version. Very soon we will be sharing the Hindi version with all of you. What is it? What is it? Kai desho mein, because different different countries have different their good practices which are proven. Research se bhi pata chala hai ki jo bhi unhone awareness community engagement, especially at the foundational stage. But jo bhi initiatives liye hai, wo bahut effective in, uh, 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 initiatives hai. Wo initiative hume laga ki different countries mein ho rahe hai, let us also understand how they have done it. So as an exemplar, wo humne aapko diye. if you go through very small, brief in, uh, information is given there. If you would like those uh, country initiatives, you can Google them. You can go to their websites and uh, read the whole document and whole, whole initiative and can replicate in your state. So we, we thought of giving you some examples which are proven happening uh, in uh, different countries so that we can also understand how we can do the same thing uh, in our states. Apart from that, 
NCRT has also developed, uh, cre uh, organized the uh, awareness programs and uh, developed a resource package. Details of those resource packages also available. Uh, uh, there are uh, uh, key resource person already trained in 19, who are in 19 states and UTs in India. Wo bhi KRPs are already available. Aapke state mein hai. We can provide you the list of those resource persons who are already trained in organizing awareness programs. Wo bhi hum aapse share karenge. Taki aapko, aapko agar awareness karni hai, you can straight away approach that person and that person can help you uh, in uh, doing the activity. So, uh, wo bhi hai. Plus, state se aap logo ne bhi humare saath kuch sharing kari thi ki aapki state mein jase Chhattisgarh hai, uh, other states how you are doing, uh, how you are creating or mobilizing the community to support foundational literacy and numeracy mission. Wo bhi humne include kiya hai is document mein. So it would be interesting for all of you to go through the document and just see how things are happening internationally and in your country, in your state. So with this, uh, now I hand over uh, this session to uh, Vinita. She will be talking about how to create awareness among parents and how to mobilize the community. And then I will be talking about the resource and also how the program in the community was organized uh, by the NCRT. Vinita, over to you. Thank you, Arituji. Um, like Rituji shared that mobilization is the aim that we are leading through community awareness. And eventually we want to uh, have maximum participation and engagement of parents and community in the children's learning. So uh, we uh, discussed that, you know, uh, community mobilization happens when every stakeholder is party and is aligned to what their roles and responsibilities are. So organizing uh, orientation programs with different stakeholders and a need uh, to engage them in a dialogue. Like when you want to have the community mobilized, the work doesn't start there. The work starts here. Like we are having a dialogue. Then it will go to the state officials. Then it will go to the different stakeholders like, you know, uh, uh, school heads, teachers, and finally, it will roll out into the community. Uh, involvement of civil society organizations would also be critical. So they, uh, parent and uh, children, uh, community members need to be aware that what role they can play in the engagement of children's learning. And uh, they also need to understand what are their state or union territory specific developments and issues that they need to address. Like there could be, uh, you know, children who are out of school uh, and parents can ensure their participation. The community members can ensure their participation to, uh, you know, uh, make uh, the participation of children and foundational literacy and numeracy uh, achievement successful. They can also, uh, uh, you know, uh, visit schools and ECC centers that we will be also seeing in uh, some of the initiatives uh, later in the presentation and exchange good practices. Uh, also, uh, these uh, orientation programs and awareness generation programs can be conducted in different places in community and a plan of action can also be devised with them. Feedback can be collated and then re-gear re re the whole process to maximize the optimization. Now, uh, we talk about parent engagement. Um, in what ways parents can uh, participate in children's learning? Some of the things that are discussed in the home-based guidelines already mentioned. Uh, when we talk about parent engagement, uh, we sometimes think that, you know, parents may not be having that kind of literacy background to participate in children, children's learning. There is a whole environment, enabling environment that can be created at home uh, with certain awareness among parents. Like, um, like you can see here in, in this slide, there's some components that can be uh, done by everyone. Sorry. 
like using positive disciplinary strategies, having fun with children, talking to children, listening to them, uh, using positive language, being an empathetic listener, and spending time as a family where uh, children are also learning the part of the culture. They're learning from, uh, uh, you know, their elders. They're learning from uh, every bit, at least they can ensure that children are picking up habits of uh, reading, they're picking up habits of their core culture, like uh, uh, even if they have a, a strong folk uh, uh, repository, they are learning those, uh, uh, you know, from the uh, culture of the home. Uh, and uh, picking up healthy eating habit and taking care of each other, taking responsibility of their selves, of their um, and uh, people around them, of environment. So these are the things everybody can, um, uh, you know, have a holistic development of the child. So some of the simple ways uh, in which parents can engage with the learning of their child are like, uh, you know, they can do those play-based activities, um, link the classroom things to real life environment, have puzzles um, or other, uh, I, uh, you know, um, mind-based activities. Uh, if the, the parents cannot read to the child, they can tell the ch children stories. In fact, uh, some of the initiatives shared through um, National conference uh, uh, by Assam was also that one of the district had this um, event where grandmothers were invited to the school uh, and the classrooms of primary children, and they were telling stories. So, no, uh, so at home as well as in school, uh, these things can be uh, organized. Allow children to learn by exploring, asking a lot of questions, and uh, set learning goals. Help them, motivate them. Uh, you know, to ask questions, to learn more. Uh, when we say community engagement, international experiences like, uh, you know, uh, like Rituji shared, that, that document uh, had a collation of best practices across countries. So international experiences also reveal that wherever families and community members were involved in children's learning, the uh, the literacy or uh, there were better uh, learning achievements in found especially at the foundational stage and it has also been realized in many countries that community involvement in education is very very important for effective teaching learning accountability uh, is also built higher accountability is built when wherever there is a higher community involvement and when we empower local community to take charge of educating their children, um, then the relationship between community and school is bec becomes very, very strong. A positive relationship is built and an indispensable re relationship is built that is part that is sustainable, that is part of the system. Like we uh, like I can just present it with an analogy. When we mix mud in the water, mitti agar pani mein ghole, तो वो दिखती है वो वहां पर है लेकिन अगर नमक और चीनी को डाल दें तो वो दिखेगी नहीं पर वो घुल जाएगी सो व्हेन वी एनविजन एंड पेरेंट एंड कम्युनिटी एंगेजमेंट इन द सिस्टम इन सच अ वे दैट दे आर इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ द सिस्टम दे डोंट सी दिस एज एन एडिशनल एक्टिविटी बट दे सी दिस एज एन इंडिस्पेंसेबल एक्टिविटी ऑफ देयर यू नो रोल एज पेरेंट एंड कम्युनिटी देन द स्टूडेंट लर्निंग विल बी ऑप्टिमाइज्ड और द the mission or the universalization of uh, primary education will be possible. And there are various ways of engaging families and communities, uh, periodic events in the school or community. There could be ongoing interactions in the classroom where a uh, uh, parents or community members can be invited as a resource person or the school uh, can visit some of the uh, local uh, vocations uh, that are there. Uh, there could be organized school visits uh, to those places. Regular activities can be done in Chopal, where, uh, you know, community library uh, can be opened up. There could be reading demonstrations, wall writing, wall painting, and display of children's work to showcase what all children are doing, like how lakshas are already pasted in schools and every parent and community member is where my child has to reach by the end of this grade they will also be able to tap the progress. They will also have tangible 
um, uh, you know, visuals to see where my where our children are growing to. And that fetches as a great motivation. Wherever uh, such practices are there, they have uh, shown very good results. And uh, I'm sure some of you will vouch for it and also share with examples, um, uh, you know, uh, these activities being conducted uh, already. And uh, definitely home visits to bridge the homeschool gap to understand the challenges the children are facing in learning. In fact, some of the, uh, you know, uh, countries have also come up with, um, uh, you know, some st uh, studies where they had uh, put that process in place that twice a uh, um, uh, periodically there will be a visit to uh, children, uh, especially when they transition at two phases. In uh, one, when they enter pre-primary stage, that is, um, you know, pre-nursery at the age of three, because the children from home to um, institutional setup transition is happening, like uh, Rituji was talking about those four phases of ECC development. So from stage uh, two to stage three when children just transition that's when um, you know the parental feedback understanding uh, you know adjustability issues understanding if there are any uh, you know special needs that could be pre-screened or any additional support uh, to the parents or to the children um, are required and then there were um, uh, at the second uh, stage it was uh, given when children started um, their primary education at the age of six or grade one so that is also the time when maximum hand holding is required so some of uh, some of these uh, you know studies uh, yielded that when they uh, you know maximize the intervention and uh, these home visits during these two phases the relationship between the community a parent and uh, the school was strengthened and it impacted the learning levels of children arranging workshops on parenting uh, and different academic aspects. Both can be uh, organized from time to time. Uh, then also constantly uh, sharing information about what is happening in the school, about the school activities, about children's progress. And uh, uh, sometimes, you know, one doesn't really have to give a feedback in terms of what is not happening. But sometimes some tips or ideas can be shared with parents that, exactly what need what can be done at home that will help children develop better uh, conceptual understanding say in maths instead of just saying ki bachcha ye nahi kar pa raha uske bajaye agar is tarah ki uh, uh, dialogue agar shuru hota hai parent teacher meetings mein jahan par ye bataya jaye ki kya thod uh, kaun sa concept part hai concept ka jo agar karaya jaye to bachche ki progress aage badh sakti so some of these things can also be part of the system and um, uh, portfolios and assignments uh, can have greater involvement uh, of parent and community. Um, and also develop a list of parents who are ready to volunteer. And um, like SMC members can be, um, their support can be sought to write letters uh, to different places or to do monitoring. And uh, this uh, you know, community at large can also provide uh, various, uh, you know, requirements of the schools, like sometimes it is some infrastructure is, uh, requirement or some, uh, you know, uh, somebody is needed as a volunteer to spend few hours with children. So those things uh, can also be looked at and organized. Um, then uh, involving willing parents for further community outreach programs. That has a very, very uh, strong impact when parents speak with parents because they speak with example and they can help uh, children who are out of school uh, they can ensure uh, uh, you know uh, that uh, all the out of school children can be mainstreamed again um, uh, capacity building of krps on awareness generation is also a very very important component in the whole process where uh, building uh, the common understanding about the right kind of practices among the key resource persons is very important. Then, uh, you know, uh, presentations for sharing activities uh, that that needs to be carried out in states, um, like, you know, uh, the issues and challenges that are specific to the state or UT, 
also need to be uh, shared uh, you know with these krps yeah. then they need to also be aware uh, about what are their uh, you know what are their arms like what are the okay. modalities they have for spreading awareness so if there is a resource package there need to be a proper training about the use of the resource package for the awareness and understanding different modes of awareness generation uh, so that they can uh, tap on the folk print and um, the the non print media uh, uh, the ict wherever possible uh, development of action plan for organizing away, awareness program is also going to be a critical hand holding for the krps and preparation of awareness program based on the action plan um uh, uh, then also needs to be reviewed so their hand holding at every step mm -hmm. is also very very important and then uh, uh, like th there has to be a completion of the loop so once the entire uh, plan is in execution happens based on the feedback uh, some revision needs to happen whenever there is a next drive that is taken up uh, in this direction uh state specific initiatives in common uh, in community engagement so um uh, like we uh, discussed in the beginning of this presentation that uh, some states uh, have most of the states are doing uh, you know wonderful in different aspects of uh, nipun bharat mission implementation uh, some of the key work some states have shared during the national conference that they are doing to strengthen the community participation uh, like you know angana mein shiksha uh, a program by chatisgarh where they have empowered the mothers from the community take more active charge into the classroom processes as well as at home uh, uh, like delhi also had uh, you know parent samvad or mega ptms and followed by that i think many other states also had mega ptms and they created iic material uh, and handbooks uh, you know for holding these um, um, uh, parent samvads uh, uh, parental uh, to Um, you know increase parent uh, uh, involvement uh jharkhand also created a activity calendar for parents uh, that uh, had a list of activities that they can do with children at home which was also very handy punjab did uh, library langar which was a very very innovative idea uh to strengthen list, uh, reading comprehension uh, and uh, uh, like uh, you know create that culture of reading amongst the parents and create that awareness among the community member uh, the, uh, for the importance of uh, you know introducing reading uh, through social media platform they definitely propagated that but they also uh, used the uh, you know uh, common community sites like you know announcements from gurudwaras and public places to sensitize student and their part parents regarding the event uh, west bengal during the summer camps used uh, uh, the support from the self help groups to create fun camps uh, for the parents so involvement of uh, uh, you know community civil society organizations self help groups parents um, uh, are ensured now i would uh, request uh, ritu ji to uh, share with us share with us uh, how to conduct these uh, you know uh, awareness programs uh, in the meanwhile um, uh, like uh, we discussed that you know these states can also uh, you know uh, we have given a very brief about you know their initiatives but some of the states can also share what they have actually um, done and uh, others are also free to uh, you know uh, share their innovative practices in this direction so do we have anyone from um, Chhattisgarh here, please raise hand, then we can unmute you. Uh, any participation uh, representation from uh, the states we discussed right now? Delhi, ja uh, okay, we yeah. Go ahead. <clears throat> Hello, ma'am. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon, brother. 
दिस इज दिस इज द के वी राजकुमार फ्रॉम समग्र शिक्षा छत्तीसगढ़ uh yeah yeah rajkumar ji so you could just share uh, about your program where you uh, strengthen the mothers angna mein shiksha a little bit would you like to yeah. in 2 minutes uh, 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 actually ma'am we had already conducted angna mein shiksha mela wherein we are uh, trained we were trained uh, uh, many mothers and identified smart mothers and provided them a particular label that in their particular village in particular there are mothers who will going to help the uh, uh, children belongs to balwadis they are actually acting as, as mentors also as a part of smc to ye program humne 2 mahine pehle initiate kiya hai aur hum kaafi area mein chal raha hai किया था मतलब जो निपुण भारत की गाइडलाइन में था जिसको हमने स्टेट में बड़े सक्सेसफुली तरीके से इम्प्लीमेंट किया है और उसके ही एस्पेक्ट में हमने अंगना शिक्षा मेला भी ऑर्गेनाइज किया है ड्यूरिंग दैट मेला बच्चों को अपने बच्चों को पढ़ाना चाहती हैं घर में बैठे बैठे शिक्षा देना चाहती हैं हमने उनको ट्रेनिंग दे करके उनका एक टेस्ट कंडक्ट करवा के उनको स्मार्ट माता करके अंगना डेजिग्नेट किया था एंड सॉर्ट ऑफ एस टैग मार्क के साथ तो उनका मेन पर्पस आइडेंटिफाई करना था कि बालवाड़ी जो हमने अभी इस साल 5173 बालवाड़ीज नए हमारे स्टेट में ओपन हुई हैं तो उनके के जो बच्चे हैं हैं वो थोड़ी बेसिक लर्निंग को करने के लिए एंड ट्रेनर से बालवाड़ी में उनको हेल्प से डायरेक्ट पार्टनर ट्रेनिंग जो मिली है माता को मिली है प्रोग्राम हमारा बड़े सक्सेसफुल तरीके से स्टेट में चल एनी वन एल्स आई थिंक यूपी हैज initiated and very good initiative uh, nipun rath so if uh, if uh, any official is there from uh, uttar pradesh who understand or know this nip they can share theek hai anyway um, aap log uh, soch lijiyega at the end of this session we would also uh, in again invite uh, those who would like to uh, share what they are doing how they are doing but in a brief 2 minutes only so i'll chandigarh so let's uh, just wait for uh, completing this session i will be very quick try to be very quick and then we'll give you time to share your uh, initiatives so vinita next slide please thoda sa slide show kar so the basically the um, awareness which awareness program which have been um, uh, initiated or uh, done in the past were uh, covering the whole early childhood care and education state that starts from conception to 8 years so things are already there uh, so uh, the purpose was to create awareness among the teachers and parents about the significance of ecc and then sensitize because sensitization of policy makers educational planners administrators teachers parents and community is very very important that's how we make sure that they understand their role and they are ready to perform their role then motivate them for performing their role and strengthen the ecc program so now in our con context it would be in strengthening the nipun bharat uh, mission implementation 
So uh, these programs were organized, three programs were actually organized. Uh, one in uh, Delhi and two uh, in Uttarakhand. So those who are from Uttarakhand, they, they know that this program was extensively organized, uh, but in uh, the year 2014. And uh, in Delhi, it was done in 2015. And apart from that, uh, one cap capacity building program for uh, all the uh, key resource persons from 19 states and union territories was organized in the, in the year 2018. Uh, where uh, there was a participation uh, from the SCRTs, state project uh, offices, diets, and there were some teachers also. So in those states, there is a, a group of people who are trained. Next. Next, please. Next. It's not showing. Not showing. Next. 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 Let's slow. We have slow net. So uh, basically, uh, let the slide come. But before that, I would like to inform you that uh, the stakeholders, you can always divide your stakeholders in two different uh, groups. That has already been done in the past while doing this uh, awareness uh, programs. Uh, one is uh, one group could be the educational planners, education administrators, and the state officials, because uh, creating awareness among them could be done using different process for them. Yes, yeah, you can see the slide. Uh, educate for educational planners and education administrators, uh, there is, we consider them as a separate group because the process of creating awareness, process of making them, motivating them would be different because uh, there should be, um, meetings, discussion, film show. Uh, this, this is how we uh, make sure that they do understand the importance of Nipun Bharat Mission. And for group two, of course, because they are in the direct touch with the uh, children, children are uh, directly uh, uh, in front of them for the teacher, with the teachers, with parents and with the whole community. So uh, uh, making them aware, making them understand about the, their role is very important. And this can be done in a variety of way. way. It can be done in meetings, through meetings, through discussion, through puppet shows, through dramatization, role play, dance, music, uh, many ways it can be done. So. Uh, the main but your detail is group two but for group one it is also very important because they are the implementer of the program uh, they, they are the policy makers who will plan the program so for that their understanding is important and group two is actual implementer of the program so start with uh, tapping uh, the hearts of uh, the group two first then um, uh, uh, different models back go back so uh, uh, there are diff two different models suggested um, uh, for creating awareness model one is for group one where not only the awareness generation but their capacity building is also important because they belong to this um, uh, state offices district offices like you our academic task force members district task force members are the one who should also have the capacity to further design awareness programs and conduct in the community. And for, uh, and model will suggest that it should be for group two. For them, there is no need for building the capacity. They should just be made aware about their roles and responsibilities. Next, please. So now this is uh, what we should, we thought that we should uh, show you that it has happened. So the, in the picture, you can see that these are the state officials who are from SCRTs, SPD uh, of SPOs and districts. Those who were involved and watch uh, are part of our current program can uh, identify this program because some of you were part of these initiatives, these awareness programs in your states. So you are seeing that we have started in the first place issues and concerns kya hai? because each and every state will have their own space state specific issue and concern in uh, related area har ek ke liye uh, uh, ek jaisa awareness program organize nahi kiya ja sakta every state has different issue to uske liye bahut zaruri hai first of all whenever you are organizing a program try to understand the issue and concern of uh, your state your district uh, uh, wherever you would like to uh, create awareness or organize program. So, you should start with that. 
accordingly you can modify your strategy then second is that uh, it is also very important ki aap sirf discussion uh, कोशिश कीजिए कि अगर आपके आसपास कोई बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस हो रही हो कम्युनिटी में कुछ अच्छा चल रहा है इट इज ऑलवेज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू टेक दूस स्टेट ऑफिशियल स्पेशली कि देखिए ऐसा कुछ हो रहा है दिस एंड द सेम कैन बी रेप्लीकेटेड इन योर डिस्ट्रिक्ट एक डिस्ट्रिक्ट में अच्छा हो रहा है तो ये एग्जाम्पल को आप अलग अलग डिस्ट्रिक्ट में भी ले जा सकते हैं तो एक तो आपने शेयरिंग के थ्रू किया दूसरा आपने जहां भी ऑर्गेनाइज किया अगर वहां पर इन पर्सन जाकर विजिट करने की पॉसिबिलिटी uh, है देन यू कैन डू इट एंड ये जो है ये हमारा आईआईटी नर्सरी स्कूल एन और आईआईटी के कोलैबोरेशन में है उस स्कूल में क्या एक्टिविटीज होती हैं सो दिस इज ऑलवेज वंडरफुल टू सी तो हम तो इन्वाइट करेंगे कि वेन यू आर इन डेली प्लीज डू विजिट आई नर्सरी स्कूल एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दिस नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी कॉन्सेप्ट गिवन इन नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी एंड foundational stage uh, ncf is being implemented in iit nursery school next please uh fir uske baad jab bhi aap awareness kar rahe if you are building a capacity it is very important that everybody should feel jo krps hain jo jo organizers hain unke liye bahut zaruri hai ki they should feel that they are part of it and uh, के प्रिपरेशन में भी उनको शामिल करना बहुत जरूरी है यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर दे आर दे देमसेल्स आर डेवलपिंग रिसोर्सेज नेक्स्ट प्लीज एंड देन नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इज द अल्टीमेट रिजल्ट ये रैली हो रही है एंड आप देख सकते हैं जो भी उन्होंने बनाया है अपने हाथों से स्लोगन्स बनाए हैं बैनर्स बनाए उन सबको कितनी अकाउंटेबिलिटी दे आर सो हैप्पी डूइंग इट टेकिंग लीड so that's how you can motivate them they can you can make them understand that they are the one who are change maker they are accountable for uh, creating awareness and mobilizing the community so that's how you should do it fir hai door to door publicity aap dekhiye ye sabhi log jo hain ye hamare krps hain states mein jammu kashmir se hai koi koi uttarakhand se hai south se hai north east se hai from different parts you can just see the picture and can understand uh, what was the participation तो ये लोग डोर टू डोर जाकर भी अवेयरनेस करते हैं नेक्स्ट देन एक प्रोग्राम कम्युनिटी में तो आपने रैली कर ली डोर टू डोर जाके लोगों को अवेयर कर लिया एंड दैट टाइम आल्सो यू इनवाइट पीपल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट अ प्लेस आपको स्टेट में कोई प्रॉब्लम uh, नहीं होगी अगर आपने ऑफिस में लिख दिया कि वी यू नीड प्रमाइस कोई लोकल कम्युनिटी हम ये करना चाह रहे हैं बच्चों की एजुकेशन के लिए मोस्टली फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट यू विल गेट ऑल द रिसोर्सेज उसमें आपको रिसोर्सेज की भी जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी हमारे केस में तो एवरी थिंग वॉज प्रोवाइडेड फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट वी हैव नॉट एट ऑल पेड अ सिंगल पाई फॉर प्लेस वी जस्ट हैव रिटर्न अ लेटर रिक्वेस्ट लेटर दैट वी वुड लाइक टू इनिशिएट दिस कम्युनिटी प्रोग्राम इन एंड वी नीड सपोर्ट फ्रॉम यू फ्रॉम योर स्कूल सो प्लीज प्रोवाइड द स्पेस एंड अलॉन्ग विद द स्पेस दे हैव प्रोवाइडेड मटेरियल टेबल चेयर आप देख सकते हैं दरी भी उन्होंने मंगाई और आसपास के पेरेंट्स को भी उन्होंने खुद ही एनकरेज करके बुला दिया बिकॉज एवरीबडी वाज फीलिंग दैट दिस इज समथिंग इम्पोर्टेंट विच इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन देयर स्कूल एंड इन देयर एरिया एंड दिस इज दिस पिक्चर्स आर फ्रॉम उत्तराखंड एंड दिल्ली नेक्स्ट प्लीज अब देखिए अब ये पपेट शो ये हमने तो ये पपेट्स बनवाए हैं बिकॉज वी वर है सिस्टम एंड रिसोर्स टू डू सो आप इसे बना सकते हैं अदरवाइज uh, जो हम रिसोर्स पैकेज अभी आपको दिखाने वाले हैं दीज पपेट्स आर वेरी मच पार्ट ऑफ इट बट स्टेट में बहुत टैलेंट है अगर आप किसी स्टेट uh, में uh, या खुद बना सके पपेट्स एनी काइंड ऑफ पपेट विल वर्क जो कि पब्लिक को दूर से दिख सके सो पपेट शो इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फोक मीडिया थ्रू विच एवरीबडी एवरीबडी वॉन्ट टू सी पपेट शो तो वो एक इंटरेस्ट भी होता है थ्रू दिस इंटरेस्ट दे कम एंड बी अ पार्ट ऑफ योर अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम एंड दैट्स हाउ एक जॉयफुल वे में यू कैन कम्युनिकेट द मैसेज देन आप देखिए रोल प्ले हो रहा है फोक डांस हो रहा है दीज आर दी आर पीज फ्रॉम डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री हु आर परफॉर्मिंग एंड ट्राई टू कम्युनिकेट कम्युनिकेट द मैसेज थ्रू डांस नेक्स्ट प्लीज then of course at the end of the program the discussion with the community members is very important to understand their problems and try to resolve them kai bar hota hai ki jo problems hoti hain wo hum log 
सोचते हैं हम उसको आंसर खुद दे दें बट देर आर वेराइटी ऑफ पीपल सिटिंग टूगेदर एक के पास अगर कोई प्रश्न है कोई है द सेकेंड पर्सन कैन रिस्पॉन्ड टू दैट क्वेश्चन हो सकता है उनके पास इस बात का कोई सोल्यूशन हो सो डिस्कशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट ऑल द टाइम यू शुड रिस्पॉन्ड टू द क्वेश्चन लेट अदर पीपुल दोज हु आर एक्टिवली पार्टिसिपेटिंग दोज हु आर द पार्टिसिपेंट ऑफ दर योर अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम कैन ऑल्सो आंसर द क्वेश्चन एंड मोस्ट मोस्टली द आंसर आर आंसर आर बेटर देन वॉट यू वुड लाइक टू टेल दैम वो बहुत अच्छा क्रिएटिव आंसर देते हैं जिससे बहुतों को फायदा होता है नेक्स्ट प्लीज देन फीडबैक ऑफ द प्रोग्राम भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज ऐसा नहीं है कि हमेशा आप जो प्रोग्राम हंड्रेड परसेंट इफेक्टिव हो सो ऑलवेज वेन एवर यू आर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग अ प्रोग्राम ट्राई टू गेट द फीडबैक सो दैट यू कैन इम्प्रूव योर प्रोग्राम नेक्स्ट टाइम एंड इट शुड ऑलवेज बी अ नीड बेस्ड प्रोग्राम नेक्स्ट प्लीज अब ये पिक्चर मैं आपको इसलिए दिखाना चाह रही हूँ कि वेन एवर यू आर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग प्रोग्राम देर मे बी सम पीपल हु वुड बी इन एनकरेज मोटिवेटेड दमसेल्वस टू पार्टिसिपेट इन योर प्रोग्राम एंड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट इन योर प्रोग्राम सो आप देख सकते हैं फॉरनर वहीं से गुजर रहा था वो आकर बैठ गया देन कम्युनिटी लीडर को हमने एक्चुअली फॉर्मली इन्वाइट नहीं किया था बट स्टिल ही केम विद एंड ही स्टार्टेड स्पीकिंग अबाउट ऑन हिज व्यूज तो आप देखिए दादाजी बच्चों को लेकर निकल आए हैं एंड देर वर सम स्कूल चिल्ड्रेन हुआ गोइंग देर दे वर नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ दे वर नॉट इवन इन्वाइटेड फॉर दिस प्रोग्राम बिकॉज दिस प्रोग्राम वॉज एक्चुअली मैंड फॉर द कम्युनिटी बट उस समय स्कूल की छुट्टी हो रही थी टीचर सेट लेट्स गो to this program so they were sitting there and they said they will sing a song so that's how we are also giving a platform to the children so aisa nahi hai ki aapne program design kiya usko aap modify nahi kar sakte keep your program flexible all the time next please uske baad aap bas aate hain hum log venue pe wapas aate the then we used to discuss ki mistake ki hame issues pata chal gaye then how to plan the program ye bhi hame how to organize the program ye bhi hame pata chal gaya देन हमारे अपने स्टेट के कंसर्न्स को ध्यान में रखे और अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन हाउ टू ऑर्गेनाइज अ प्रोग्राम कैन वी कम अप विद अ प्लान कि अब हम अपने स्टेट में वापस जाएंगे एंड इन योर केस आप डिस्ट्रिक्ट से हैं अगर स्टेट लेवल का अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम चल रहा है तो आप अपने डिस्ट्रिक्ट के हिसाब से क्या प्रोग्राम डिजाइन करेंगे कि अपने डिस्ट्रिक्ट में कैसे अवेयरनेस करेंगे बिकॉज एक स्टेट में अलग अलग डिस्ट्रिक्ट में भी वेरिएशन होते हैं सो दैट्स हाउ वी डिड एंड यू कैन डू द सेम नेक्स्ट प्लीज एंड उसका प्रेजेंटेशन भी आप करवाएं देन अब रिसोर्स पैकेज पे आ जाते हैं क्विकली नेक्स्ट प्लीज ये एक रिसोर्स पैकेज है वाटर प्रूफ है वाटर प्रूफ मटेरियल है दिस इज यू हैव दोज हु वुड लाइक टू परचेज यू कैन परचेज इट एक अपने स्टेट के लिए आप ले लीजिए सिर्फ एक देन यू कैन मॉडिफाई इट ऐसा ही अपना बना सकते हैं uh, ये जस्ट आपको शो करने के लिए है ये 2017 में बनी थी दो हजार इक्कीस में उस बाईस में उसको फिर से मॉडिफाई uh, कर दिया गया है और इम्प्रूव कर दिया गया है निपुण भारत मिशन से अलाइन किया गया है एन 2020 के कॉन्सेप्ट और रिकमेंडेशन से इट इज़ वेरी मच अलाइंड और ये पूरे अर्ली चाइल्डहुड केयर एंड एजुकेशन को इट प्रमोट्स इट दैट इंक्लूड्स हेल्थ इंक्लूजन जेंडर एवरीथिंग फाउंडेशन लिटरेसी न्यूमरेसी सो अब इसमें है क्या क्या नेक्स्ट चलते हैं नेक्स्ट प्लीज ये कलर स्कीम आप देख रहे हैं ये पुरानी पिक्चर्स लगी हैं अभी नाउ द कलर स्कीम इज ऑरेंज एंड देर आर and pamphlets have also increased based on the um, feedback that we have received on this uh, uh, kit and also based on uh, the uh, new developments like jaise nepal bharat maine kaha ya fir nep 2020 haryana ek aisa state hai jiske paas 100% anganwadi mein ye kit hai so this haryana is the only state who has this kit for in 100% anganwadi centers to so, abhi uh, nayi kit bhi aa gayi hai aap log nayi kit ko lene ki koshish kijiyega uska orange aur yellow uh, combination hai uh, to isme hai posters aur ye hindi english dono mein hai ye bhi main aapko batana chahti hu this is available in hindi and english both so hindi english hindi speaking states can uh, see and purchase or get this uh, resource package in english english wale english mein lenge Uh, तो कुछ पोस्टर्स हैं बेसिकली पोस्टर्स का मतलब ये है कि यू कैन हैंग दोज पोस्टर्स इन द कम्युनिटी इन द स्कूल जब पीटीए मीटिंग हो रही है फिर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स इवन इन द ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स यू कैन हैंग दीज पोस्टर्स एंड कैन यूज इन द ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स एंड कैन इनिशिएट योर डिस्कशन इन पी इन ट्रेनिंग्स एंड इन कम्युनिटी फॉर वेल यू आर डूइंग अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम नेक्स्ट प्लीज ऐसे बहुत सारे पोस्टर्स ये दो ही नहीं है देर आर अ नंबर ऑफ नाइन पोस्टर्स दैट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट पे 
ऐसे है कि अगर आपको अब 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 आप एक प्रोग्राम ऑर्गेनाइज करते हैं तो आपको प्रिपरेशन करनी पड़ेगी देर इज नो नीड फॉर एनी प्रिपरेशन आपको एक पहले से ही एक बैनर बना हुआ है इस बैनर को एक बैनर आपको रैली में ले जाने के लिए बना हुआ इस स्टेज के पीछे लगाने के लिए बिकॉज दिस इज नीड बेस्ड रिसोर्स पैकेज डेवलप जब हम लोग रिसोर्स अवेयरनेस करते थे तो ये रियलाइज हुआ कि ऑल द टाइम वी हैव टू डेवलप रिसोर्सेज बनाने पड़ते हैं जो चार्ट पेपर का होता है वो फट जाता है तो कैन वी कम अप विद सस्टेनेबल रिसोर्स पैकेज तो दिस इज अस्टेनेबल रिसोर्स पैकेज जिसको आप फोल्ड करके पैक करके रख देंगे बारिश भी हो गई आप छोड़ के चले जाइए वेन्यू को ये भीग जाएंगे लेकिन फिर सूख जाएंगे बिकॉज ये ऑल प्लास्टिक तो सस्टेनेबल है इजी टू कैरी है लाइट वेट है और पोर्टेबल uh, है जिसको कि आप सब डिसमेंटल कर सकते हैं पाइप सब डिसमेंटल हो जाती है आपकी हाउ इट इज डेवलप तो आपको कुछ भी नहीं करना यू हैव टू जस्ट रीच टू द वेन्यू एंड एनकरेज पीपल टू कम देन छोटे छोटे बैनर्स हैं स्मॉल बैनर्स भी हैं काफी सारे जिसमें स्लोगन्स लिखे हैं बच्चों को मोटिवेट करने के लिए पेरेंट्स को मोटिवेट करने के लिए वो भी हिंदी इंग्लिश सारी किट हिंदी इंग्लिश में नेक्स्ट प्लीज and then leaflets so leaflets are also very important for small small messages with, with illustrations to so, ye bhi hai ye aapko char dikh rahi hai char se bahut zyada hai ye just example hai aapko dikhane ke liye jisme messages likhe hue hain ki uh, jaise aap ye padhe dart na fatkar bacche chahe sirf pyar as something which is written i am not able to read it but this is how some messages for parents community um, is written in the leaflets next please सो नाउ वो एक तो आपको हमने बता दिया कि हमारे पास हम पपेट शो के थ्रू करते हैं दूसरा हमने बता दिया प्रिंट मीडिया हमारे पास तो जो हमने शुरू में कहा था कि अवेयरनेस जनरेशन कैन बी डन इन थ्री वेज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक प्रिंट एंड फोक तो फोक हो गया अभी फोक पे अभी हम आपको और दिखा देंगे फोक हो गया प्रिंट हो गया नाउ कम टू द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया तो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया में वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड अ फिल्म कि वॉट शुड बी दस दर्ली जो एक गुणवत्ता क्वालिटी अर्ली चाइल्ड केयर एंड एजुकेशन कैसा होना चाहिए इस पर एक फिल्म है एटीन मिनट फिफ्टी एट सेकेंड्स की जिसको कि हमने इसमें दिया है दिस फिल्म इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देर आर सम मोर वीडियोज स्मॉल स्मॉल वीडियोज एंड ऑडियोज ऑल्सो डेवलप विच हेल्प पेरेंट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड देयर रोल एंड हाउ टू प्रोमोट क्रिएटिविटी how what are what are the roles of parents and community in the learning how to encourage children to learn and um, so, so these are the things which are also a part of the package next uh uske baad ab baat kar diye ki humne puppets puppets to de diye dekhi aap you can see the puppets a close up view of puppet puppets to humne de diye us package mein is din baat aati hai ki ab wo एक ड्रामा और या ड्रामाटाइजेशन के लिए हमने कहा गो फॉर ड्रामा तो उसके लिए स्क्रिप्ट बनाने सबसे बड़ा काम बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट हो जाता है बहुत प्रॉब्लमेटिक होता है तो उसके लिए पहले से ही कई सारी स्क्रिप्ट्स एनेक्जर में एक मैनुअल है वो मैनुअल अभी हम आपको फोटो दिखाते हैं दैट मैनुअल हैज स्क्रिप्ट फॉर ड्रामा रोल प्ले एंड पपेट शो तो उसमें से आपको यू जस्ट हैव टू पिक कि अगर जब हमको ये वाला पपेट शो करना है बस आपको तैयार करना है स्क्रिप्ट में डायलॉग्स एवरीथिंग इज रेडी और इस जो आपको पपेट शो करना है उसके लिए मटेरियल भी उसके अंदर है अपार्ट फ्रॉम पपेट शो देर आर सम अदर सपोर्ट मटेरियल देर इन दी आपको चादर की जरूरत होती है ग्लव्स होता है या ब्रशेज है एवरी इज वेरी मच देयर इन दी किट आपको कुछ नहीं करना है यू जस्ट हैव टू यूज द किट एंड देन ये आपको मैंने दिखाई है कि कुछ वीडियो के वीडियोज भी हैं जिसको ऑडियोज भी हैं जिसको आप रन करेंगे और उस पर पपेट शो चला पपेट चला सकते हैं तो कई जगह आपको डायलॉग्स बोलने की भी जरूरत नहीं है यू जस्ट यू जस्ट हैव टू रन द ऑडियो एंड पपेट को हाथ से चलाना सो दोज हु आर नॉट एबल टू से द डायलॉग दे कैन यूज द ऑडियोज एंड देन पपेट्री मटेरियल इसमें आप देख सकते हैं ये सारा हमने दिया है पपेट चार पपेट्स हैं एक मम्मी पापा हैं नेक्स्ट नो बैज एंड बैज स्टैम्प हमने दिए हैं बैज इसलिए दिया है कि ओनरशिप ऑफ द प्रोग्राम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जब आपको कुछ भी इट नॉट अबाउट मनी इट्स नॉट अबाउट एनीथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी कॉस्टली या कुछ द थिंग इज दैट ओनरशिप ऑफ द प्रोग्राम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एवरीबडी शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट तो उसके लिए हमने कुछ दस बैजेस इसके अंदर दिए हुए हैं तो जो प्रोग्राम ऑर्गेनाइजर है वो इस बैच को पहनेगा 
उसको लगेगा यस आई एम द रिस्पॉन्सिबल पर्सन आई एम द अकाउंटेबल पर्सन हु हैज टू मेक श्योर दैट एवरीबडी अंडरस्टैंड दी इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ निपुण भारत तो और दूसरी चीज़ है वो कम्युनिटी में भी हो जाता है कि ही इज द ये ऑर्गेनाइजर है दूसरा चीज़ है कम्युनिटी को भी तो कुछ चाहिए कि हम भी बैच लगाएं सो वी कैन नॉट प्रोवाइड दिस नंबर ऑफ बैचेस बिकॉज कम्युनिटी तो ह्यूज होती है इट्स ह्यूज पाँच सौ हज़ार लोग आते ही रहते हैं एक एक प्रोग्राम में तो वी हैव अ प्रोविजन ऑफ स्टैम्प पेपर पे स्टैम्प लगा के आप सबको दे दीजिए एंड पिन से वो टैग कर सकते हैं तो दैट्स हाउ वी थॉट दैट वी शुड मेक देम फील कनेक्टेड टू द प्रोग्राम देन आई डी कार्ड्स हैं ये भी ऑर्गेनाइजर्स के लिए हैं Uh, so that everybody can recognize them. Some musical instruments are also there. Next, please. This is the manual. Now manual is again changed. Improved version है. उसका आप उस illustrative yellow book है. When you will approach the uh, kit department, जिनका number मैंने दिया है. अभी I'll give you more information about it. तो वहाँ पर आपको ये मैनुअल मिलेगी latest version जिसमें सारी scripts से लेके how to organize the program, how to choose the venue. एंड कैसे जो लोग प्रोग्राम अटेंड कर रहे हैं उनका प्रोफाइल भी आप कैसे ट्रैक करोगे वो भी है हाउ विल यू ट्रैक टेक अ फीडबैक उसका एक प्रोफार्मा भी दिया हुआ है ग्रुप वन के लिए अलग ग्रुप टू के लिए अलग प्रोफार्म फीडबैक लेने के लिए भी आपके प्रोफार्मे अलग दिए हुए एक टेंटेटिव प्रोग्राम शेड्यूल ग्रुप वन और ग्रुप टू के लिए भी दिया गया है यू नीड नॉट टू डेवलप एनी प्रोग्राम शेड्यूल प्रोग्राम शेड्यूल इज ऑलरेडी डन वो भी आपको दिया गया है यू जस्ट हैव टू फॉलो आपको टॉपिक्स चेंज करने हैं अपने टॉपिक्स अपने हिसाब से मॉडिफाई कर सकते हैं बट द प्रोग्राम शेड्यूल इज रेडी विद दिस मैनुअल देन आइस ब्रेकिंग एक्टिविटीज एक होती है बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टू अट्रैक्ट दी कम्युनिटी वो आइस ब्रेकिंग एक्टिविटीज आर ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ दिस मैनुअल सो आपको कोशिश की गई है कि जो जो परेशानियां जब हम कर रहे थे अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम जो हमने फेस की थी वो आपको ना फेस करनी पड़े यू शुड हैव ऑल रेडी रिसोर्सेज अवेलेबल विद यू वो सारी चीज़ें इस मैनुअल में और स्किप में अवेलेबल हैं अब आपको अपनी क्रिएटिविटी यू हैव टू यूज योर ओन क्रिएटिविटी यू हैव टू ब्रिंग इज ब्रिंग न्यूनेस और इनोवेशन इन दिस अवेयरनेस इन दिस अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम वॉट इज ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग सो इस सेशन का पर्टिकुलरली मकसद यही था टू आप इस इस सेशन का प्लीज प्लीज सो इस सेशन का मकसद ही यही था दैट वी शुड मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट अवेयरनेस जनरेशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड देन वी हैव ऑल रिसोर्स अवेलेबल विद हर विद अस यू जस्ट हैव टू मॉडिफाई अ लाइन एज पर योर नीड कॉन्टेक्शलाइज इट ट्रांसलेटेड बट फॉर ट्रांसलेशन वी हैव हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश वर्जन अवेलेबल विद अस आई हैव शेयर फोन नंबर ऑफ द डिविजन ऑफ एजुकेशनल किट्स You can Google it. Just Google the NCERT. उसमें आप NCERT सी आर टी में जाएंगे तो आप अगर आप खोल सकते हैं तो आप खोल लीजिए एन सी आर टी में जाने के बाद आपको यहाँ उसकी वेबसाइट पर दिखेगा कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स एंड डिपार्टमेंट्स जिसमें आप एन आई ई में जाएंगे नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एजुकेशन को आप क्लिक करेंगे उसमें डिपार्टमेंट्स होगा और डिविजन्स होगा डिविजन्स में आप एजुकेशन के डिविजन में जाएंगे तो क्लिक करते हुए ये सारी चीज़ें आपके पास हो जाएंगी प्रिंट मटेरियल क्या है ऑन डेवलपमेंट्स क्या है रिसर्च वर्क स्कूल किट्स कौन कौन सी अवेलेबल है हाउ टू गेट किट ये भी अवेलेबल है सो वी विल ट्राई टू डाउनलोड इट एंड शेयर विद यू वेरी सुन सो विद दिस माय पार्ट इज ओवर नाउ आई हैंड ओवर टू विनीता Thank you. With this, we come to the end of this presentation, um, and I hope uh, it had been helpful uh, for you. And um, I think, uh, like uh, we said, that there has to be a dialogue that has to be started here when we want to involve community. So this cannot be completed by just one. So now I invite um, the state members to enrich the discussion, collate more ideas, and share uh, their best practices. And we will be sharing the PPT, of course. So um, uh, I think Rupali ji uh, was uh, sharing something about uh, a, a practice with SMC members uh, in her state. So Rupali ji, you want to share now? हुआ है 
good afternoon ma'am am i audible uh, yes you are audible uh, ma'am i want to share that during ptm hamare chandigarh mein parents ka participation ptm mein kafi rehta hai they attend the ptms to wahan pe humne आफ्टर पीटीएम एक पेरेंट्स का अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम हम एक मीटिंग्स ऑर्गेनाइज करते हैं और पीटीएम के ड्यूरिंग स्कूल में पैम्फलेट्स और जो चार्ट्स या पोस्टर हैं वो डिस्प्ले करते हैं तो उनमें एसएमसी मीटिंग्स में हमने पेरेंट्स को उनको अवेयर किया निपुण भारत के लक्ष्यास को लेकर पहले सबसे पहले और उसके बाद एक फीडबैक मैकेनिज्म में हमने ये पता किया कि नेक्स्ट टाइम उनमें से कितने पेरेंट्स उन लक्ष्यास को रिकॉल कर सकते हैं तो जो हमारा लास्ट टू लास्ट जो हमारा थ्री मंथ्स का स्पैन था उसमें सेवेंटी परसेंट पेरेंट्स ने रिकॉल किया था एंड नाउ दिस टाइम इट इज मोर देन नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द पेरेंट्स दे कैन रिकॉल द लक्ष्यास बिकॉज हमने चार्ट तो प्लेस करे ही हैं इसके अलावा स्कूल में परमानेंट फ्लैक्स बोर्ड्स भी हैं जो जिसमें निपुण भारत के लक्ष्यास लिखे हैं इस प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में लिखा है सो दिस इज ऑल वट वी आर डूइंग इन चंडीगढ़ okay i think yes that is very important uh, like uh, it it was there is a quote in the end uh, that awareness is the beginning and the acceptance is uh, uh, what we have to achieve so uh, co-option of any program happen participation and engagement of community and uh, you know community members and parents are um, um, you know at, at its peak uh, so uh, that is a greatest indicator of the success um, so yeah uh, anyone else uh, want to share uh, among the states yeah manjula ji wants to okay uh, we have someone from uh, नोडल ऑफिसर महाराष्ट्र एस एम सी के बारे में मैं बताना चाहती हूँ की अवर इक्विटी डिपार्टमेंट है made uh, books for uh... hello आवाज आ रही है मेरी जी आवाज आ रही है आप बोलिए हाँ तो एस एम सी के ट्रेनिंग के लिए हमने एक मॉड्यूल बनाया है महाराष्ट्र ने uh, और सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एटी सिक्स जो गवर्नमेंट स्कूल्स है uh, उस स्कूल के जो एस एम सी मेंबर है उसके लिए इक्विटी डिपार्टमेंट के साथ हमने मॉड्यूल uh, बनाया है और जो uh, जो घड़ी पत्रिका जो होती है वो भी बनाई है एसएमसी मेंबर के लिए होल्डर जो है तो यहाँ उसमें हमने निपुण भारत का कंपोनेंट उसमें इंटीग्रेट इंटीग्रेट की किया है और जो अपनी प्रतिज्ञा है जो हमारी निपुण भारत की वो ट्रांसलेट मराठी और उर्दू में ट्रांसलेट की है महाराष्ट्र ने और सभी स्कूल के लिए वो ट्रांसलेशन की हुई प्रतिज्ञा दी है और ये साथ ही साथ हमारे जो लक्ष्यास है निपुण भारत के वो लक्ष्यास और टारगेट्स भी पोस्टर्स वो बनाए इस, इसलिए हमने वो सर्कुलेट किए हैं डिसिमिनेट किए हैं स्कूल तक तो इस तरह से एसएमसी के द्वारा हमने निपुण भारत के लक्ष्यास और निपुण भारत के जो गोल्स है उसके लिए हमने डिसिमिनेट किया है और एसएमसी मेंबर जो स्कूल में जब मीटिंग होती है तो ये इसका रिव्यू जो हेड टीचर है वो लेते हैं तो अब इस तरह से महाराष्ट्र में बहुत अच्छी तरह से निपुण भारत का डिसिमिनेशन उस लक्ष्यास का हो गया है थैंक यू मैम uh thank you uh, kamla devi ji uh, i also want to share about maharashtra uh, in 2015 16 we also uh, ncrt we had uh, um, done a study program evaluation in maharashtra's a uh, few district ek chavdi vachan karke program aapka chal raha tha yes 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 mujhe nahi pata abhi bhi chalta hai ya nahi but chavdi vachan mein community ka involvement bachcho ke reading uh, writing uh, ko uh, protsahan dene ke liye 
बहुत ही कारगर था जहाँ पर पेरेंट्स एंड कम्युनिटी मेंबर्स इवन एजुकेशनल ऑफिसर्स बी ओज डी ओज को इन्वाइट किया जाता था कि वो आए और बच्चे कुछ भी पढ़ के सुनाएं जो कि उनका टेक्स्ट बुक नहीं है जैसा कि हमारे फेस वन के पहले दिन राशि मैम की भी को भी हमने सुना था कि बच्चे बच्चों का कॉम्प्रीहेंशन कितना है कि वो कोई भी टेक्स्ट उनके सामने जब आता है उसको पढ़ के सुनाने में कितने सक्षम हो रहे हैं तो वो एक प्रोत्साहन कार्यक्रम की तरह बहुत मोटिवेशन की तरह साबित हुआ जो चौपाल में या स्कूल में इस तरह का किया जाता था सो सच इवेंट्स कैन आल्सो बी ऑर्गेनाइज वेयर चिल्ड्रन कैन शोकेस देयर डेवलपिंग स्किल्स नॉट जस्ट डेवलप्ड स्किल्स बट आल्सो डेवलपिंग स्किल्स फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम टू द पेरेंट एंड कम्युनिटी सो दैट गिव्स अ ह्यूज मोटिवेशन फॉर द पेरेंट्स आल्सो to see that you know, uh, you know uh, what activities are being conducted what are the efficacies of it and they feel motivated to you know um, uh, take more part even handhold and uh, you know play their part so thank you uh, karma devi ji for sharing uh, that experience now uh, manjula ji wants to share something from himachal wo to abhi gayi abhi aapko dikha dete hain the dr manjula wo hai थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू हमारे स्टेट में हमने सभी पहले एसएमसी uh, का जब मॉड्यूल बना था तो एक जनरल सा निपुण भारत के बारे में उसमें कॉन्सेप्ट uh, रखा था कि जनरल पेरेंट्स को पता चल जाए कि क्या है निपुण भारत और उसमें क्या होना है कुछ लक्ष्य के बारे में भी छोटी छोटी बातें उनको बता दी वो बिल्कुल सरल भाषा में कर दी गई थी तो उसका इम्पैक्ट ये हुआ क्योंकि हमने जब ट्रेनिंग करवाई सभी टीचर्स की ऑनलाइन निपुण के बारे में तो उसमें हमने निपुण मेला भी आयोजित किए स्टेट लेवल पर डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल पे स्कूल लेवल पर तो स्कूल लेवल पर जब निपुण मेला हुए तो पेरेंट्स की जो इन्वॉल्वमेंट थी पार्टिसिपेशन नहीं इन्वॉल्वमेंट थी वो बहुत अच्छी थी वो इन्वॉल्व हो रहे थे बच्चों से पूछ रहे थे ये क्या है और फिर वो स्टॉल को भी ऑर्गेनाइज कर रहे थे जैसे कोई किसी स्टॉल में बच्चे ने अपनी एक्टिविटीज रखी हैं कुछ तो उस एक्टिविटीज के साथ बात कर रहे थे कि भी ये मेरे बच्चे ने बनाई है अच्छे से तुम क्या करोगे तो बाकी लोगों को भी बता रहे थे तो पेरेंट्स की इन्वॉल्वमेंट बढ़ने लगी तो मुझे लगता है कि फर्स्ट लेवल पर तो हम इतना ही कर पाए सेकंड लेवल पर हमने कुछ आइडिया कार्ड बनाए हैं पेरेंट्स के लिए जिसमें टीचर और पेरेंट्स जो है आपस में बातचीत कर सकते वो टीचर के लिए टीचर को कि वो पेरेंट से क्या बात करें फाउंडेशनल लिटरेसी के बारे में बच, बच्चों की कि किस तरह की एक्टिविटीज वो घर में कर, करती हैं करती हैं जिनको वो ऑर्गेनाइज वे में बच्चों के साथ करें ताकि बच्चों की ये लिटरेसी और न्यूमरेसी का स्किल डेवलप घर से घर में भी वो स्ट्रेंथन हो सके तो इस तरह के आइडिया कार्ड हमने बनाए हैं प्रिंट अभी नहीं किए हैं वो हम समग्र शिक्षा का जो फंड फंड होगा उससे हम प्रिंट करके टीचर्स तक पहुंचाएंगे क्योंकि सेकेंड फेज का हमारा ट्रेनिंग हो रहा है उसमें भी हम वो भी हमने अभी रखा है बाईस तारीख से तो वो फिजिकल ट्रेनिंग है क्योंकि हमें स्टार्स में भी निपुण भारत में बहुत सारा फंड मिले हैं तो उसमें हम ये ट्रेनिंग कर, करवा रहे हैं 22 से 26 जिसमें हम ये सारी चीजें टीचर्स को दे रहे हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि इससे पेरेंट्स की इन्वॉल्वमेंट और बढ़ेगी धीरे धीरे अभी तो फर्स्ट फेज था फर्स्ट फेज में जितना हम करवा पाए उतना करवाया सेकेंड फेज में थोड़ा और ऑर्गेनाइज वे में उनके साथ बातचीत करना एक्टिविटी क्या हो सकती है जो एक्टिविटी वो करते हैं उससे न्यूमेरिकल स्किल्स कैसे डेवलप होते हैं लिटरेसी स्किल्स कैसे डेवलप होते हैं ओरल फ्लुएंसी कैसे बढ़ेगी तो उसके बारे में भी हम उसमें चर्चा करेंगे या थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर you know we teach out to parents to share with them what they can do you know equipping them to participate more uh, what kind of things teacher can discuss with parents what are the things they can suggest to parents then the ptms also become qualitative right uh, so yes i think the, these initiatives are very very important and uh, the home based guidelines which is already there uh, and it is also in a print uh, like electronic media so that can also be widely circulated because it it is it was developed during the covid time pandemic time but it has a uh, you know wider applicability because what is suggested are the activities we want to encourage parents to do at home so 
like uh, we share and also i think uh, uh, when we are talking about uh, the, uh, you know what to communicate to parents uh, there is another thing that we all can do together is to uh, you know uh, see what we can what all we can do to develop the culture of reading kyunki jab hum chahte hain ki bachcho ki literacy strengthen ho तो लिटरेसी सिर्फ मटेरियल या फिर मटेरियल का इस्तेमाल कैसे करना है वहां तक नहीं है वो पूरी एक संस्कृति है पढ़ने का एक कल्चर है तो कल्चर तो तभी बदलेगा जब जब वो बातचीत क्लासरूम से उठ करके घर में जाएगी घर से उठ करके कम्युनिटी में जाएगी कम्युनिटी में वो रीडिंग कल्चर डेवलप करने के इनिशियटिव भी होंगे सो वेन वी हैव टू रीच टू दैट चीज फॉर दैट also that how you know the community can also be encouraged to read and there there are libraries accessible so yeah i think uh, these are very important and good initiatives um, yeah. any any other uh, uh, state also want to share uh, anybody from jharkhand jharkhand or delhi if we have here west bengal राजेंद्र है ये विनीता है विनीता को सो आई थिंक देर इज नो मोर क्वेश्चन so thank you uh, so much for joining us now last session would be on uh, nippon bharat mission planning and implementation template to which we call uh, nbm pit it would start at 2 o'clock sharp so that we can finish our uh, uh, valedictory on time and uh, uh, to rajin rajin would be the main person to uh, take a session so finish it as early as possible by 3:30 so that half an hour would be dedicated for your feedback your feedback we would like to listen in, especially in terms of uh, how you uh, what what components you like to be included in third phase of the training program so because we are planning to have a third phase of training program mm -hmm. it could be one day or two day program but kya component aise aur reh gaye hain what are the components which you really like us to focus more on jo ho bhi gaye hain aapko lag raha hai usko aur detail mein discuss hona chahiye so please give us all these feedback thank you you may leave